Hello everyone. I've got kind of a bonus video for you guys. I actually filmed this months ago <laughs> and just never got around to editing it or uploading it. I don't know why. Um, I think I got sidetracked with other things, but um, I'm using the Paper Smooches Think Fast um, stamp set with the matching Think Fast dies and I had stamped them onto some craft cardstock that I had die cut with the dies with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And funny little thing is this was actually the card that spurred me on to my whole love of um, stamping and coloring on craft cardstock. You know, I went through a whole little phase there, like coloring everything on craft cardstock. Yeah, this was the card that started it. <laughs> and I never shared it, so I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was saving it for. But yeah, I just used my Koinur Woodless color pencils. Obviously any pencil crayon. Uh, we call them pencil crayons in Canada. Apparently that's a Canadian thing. But yeah, any color pencils will work in ink tense pencils would be awesome. Um, I really like my Koi Newer just because they're um, really pigmented and all that, but yeah, anything will work. Um, and I like stamping images like this with the VersaFine because it's such a deep black. And then um, the pattern paper I decided to use was um, the My Mind's Eye Craft Fun Day 6x6 pattern papers. So I trimmed those down for my card front and then I die cut some red um, cardstock with the paper smooches streamers dies and then I stamped the coordinating um, stamp with um, some MFT electric red ink so now I've got my nice little banner there and I wanted to create a sentiment for the card and I went the complete long way about this um, this was a while before I really um, could get over like trimming my stamps so right there I used my embossing buddy onto on the red cardstock there but all I did was take tape and cover up the areas of the stamp that I didn't want um, to ink up so you can do that or you can actually just trim apart your stamps I just I still have a hard time doing that so I take my time and just tape off the areas I don't want because um, that's just the easiest way to do it so yeah just regular scotch tape making sure to cover up any bits of the stamp that you don't want to ink up and yeah, it's easier this way than trying to like ink it up and then wipe off the areas you don't want to stamp. Like that would just take forever. So just did that and then you just peel the tape off and you've got just that specific area inked up. So I made sure I had it properly and then lined it up onto my banner. So I wanted it obviously going across and not um, vertically like how it is on the stamp itself. And then just pour my white embossing powder over that because I used um, a pigment ink. And yeah, this was also back when I had like my plug-in right in front of me, so I had to kind of move things around and get that cord out of the way so I don't end up melting that with my heat tool. So yeah, I got that done, got everything unplugged, out of my way again. <laughs> and then used my fingers just to wipe off any of the residue from the embossing buddy. So I've got my nice little banner. And then I matted the pattern paper onto just a piece of white cardstock just to give that little extra bit of white to kind of go with the sentiment because these pattern papers are very muted with the craft and the colors and everything and there's absolutely no white and I just I really like how white pops on craft again that's something that kind of got started with this card and yeah this poor thing sat in a drawer for so long and I came across it the other day and it's like oh my god I never shared this so anyway I did the same thing again I'm using the birthday sampler a stamp from that set and yeah covered the areas on the stamp I wanted to use with the tape and then inked it up this time with the VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then I'm going to stamp that along um, this strip of pattern paper. So once I got that stamped, um, I wasn't completely happy with it because even though the VersaFine um, stands out really well on pattern paper, on this particular paper it just kind of seemed to sink into the cardstock. It didn't pop as much as I wanted it to. So I basically just took a black pen. This is a Copic Multiliner I had in my stash, I think. Um, but yeah, any black pen would work and just went over um, the lines of the sentiment a couple times just to darken a little bit and it just um, made it stand out a little bit more. So yeah, really simple. And then I decided how I wanted my layout to go and I decided to adhere um, the banner flat to the card and then the big sandwich or sub um, pop that up on dimensionals and then the other two parts, the little drink cup and the fries, just adhere those flat to the card as well. So once I was happy with my layout, got everything pressed down into place and then peeled off the backing of my little dimensionals there and got that um, sub popped up and that's it for the card front. 
So I'm going to mat that onto a piece of craft cardstock, standard A2 size card, you know, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And yeah, super fun. And then on the inside, I just took a couple of small pieces of the same pattern paper I used on the outside and then used that um, fries image that I had already stamped and colored and die cut. And once I got that into place, I stamped another sentiment from the super size set with the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, and that's all there was to it. So really fun, masculine, kind of themed birthday card, because you know it's always they're always the hardest to make cards for. So yeah, this was a really fun one. So I'm glad I found it again and found my video file for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, there'll be a link below to my blog post with links to all the supplies used, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.